Hey guys, this is the short self-test for the Puritan Bennett 840 ventilator. We've already got it plugged into the wall, connected to oxygen. This is how we find it. It's got the tubing with our little Y on there. We're gonna just turn it on. Tends to be loud. It's saying right now, short sure, self-test not allowed after patient connection. First of all, let's silence that. Um, typically, I find... Let's try that again without this on there. So now, without this Y on, it's allowing me to check the short self-test. After that, I have to press this test button on the side try that again okay so now here we are we're in the short self test it's for an adult patient all we have to do at this point is press accept to continue and we're going to get started so connect the circuit the instructions are usually down here in the right lower corner um, and everything's connected. All I have to do is press accept for now. Now it says block the Y. So, and that's what I just took off in order to get this test started. So I'm going to block the Y by attaching that and pressing accept. And now the, start, the test is starting. Test in total will take about five minutes. It takes a little patience, especially if you're in a hurry. But it's pretty self-explanatory. You just follow the directions um, that the machines tell you. And we can see on the side here of what they're testing, just for your own knowledge, flow sensor, and then we'll go on to the pressure and the circuit leaking and all that. So right now it's still doing the flow sensor. Now it says connect the humidifier. Everything again is already connected, so we just say accept to let it keep going. All right, so that both of those passed. Now it's doing the circuit leak, and you can see up here that it's actually testing for leaks, and it's in the pass zone at the moment. Just following the directions down at the bottom. Now it says disconnect from patient port. Um, so at this point, this is what we do for this. There's two blue tubes um, and this is for the expiratory filter. Um, so it's actually the one here by the filter that we want to disconnect. And I'm going to show you what happens when we do the wrong one. So we disconnect the wrong tube. Say accept. Now it says connect. So I'm just going to connect this back to where I took it out from. Press accept. And you can see that it failed. So um, but that's fine. What we're going to do is just press repeat to repeat that. And now we'll take out the second blue tube from the correct spot where the filter is. Um, take that out, press accept in order to test it. Reconnect it. Accept. Now it's testing circuit resistance. Just following it down. Alright, and now it says unblock the Y. So we're going to 
take this off again, except sounds like it's gonna explode, but it doesn't. And it says block the Y again. So I just put that back on, press accept. And we're almost done with the test. unblock the Y again. Accept. And at this point it says SST testing is completed. We can see it's passed all of the different parts to it. And at this point we can exit the SST, press accept. And now it's safe to connect the patient to the ventilator.